Hello, today I will try to fix a hard disk which stopped working. When I plug it into a computer, I can see the LED lights on, but I don't hear any sound of a turning hard disk inside. This is an HDD, a hard disk drive which has a mechanical part inside, a disk which rotates and an arm which is reading information from that disk. It's not a solid state drive. This is an external drive and usually, uh, for example, I have here another one. They can be used both outside and inside of computers. I don't know how this hard disk is made, but it is possible that it's just a hard disk inside of a box with connections that allow to connect this hard disk to a computer. For example, this one is a box in which you can put a hard disk drive in, but you can also take it out and plug it into a computer directly. You can install it inside of a computer. Usually you can buy a box and uh, just another hard disk and then put it inside of the box and then plug it into a computer from outside. I actually took this drive from another computer, bought a box and put it inside so that I could use it as an external drive. So now I will find out how this drive is made and if it has the similar logic like this one, I will try to switch the hard disk drive from this box to this box and see if it works. If it's made in a different manner, I'll try to get to the hard disk itself with an arm and see if the arm got stuck inside because it's possible that it got stuck and uh, it's not reading anything from the disk. To remove the hard disk from this box is gonna be a challenge because it's sealed and I don't see any screws so I think I'll have hard time removing it from the box and probably I will damage the plastic casing. Let's try to find if there's any screw be behind this sticker and uh, usually you touch it with your hand and try to see what's going on inside and here I can see there's something and no it's not a screw so I have to try to release these two plastic parts from each other which will probably damage the plastic itself usually it's very difficult to release them once they are assembled in the factory one of the ways to do it is to try to separate the two plastic parts from each other by putting the thinnest metal you may have and this in this case it's gonna be a cutter so I put this cutter inside and then I pick up a thin screwdriver and I put inside it and then I try to open it more and more and then I try to put thicker screwdrivers and then I try to apply an even, even thicker one and this way I start opening the cap And now you can see it gets separated. So I have to continue moving around the whole perimeter. And yes, I can see that this casing is similar to this casing. So I have a chance now to switch this hard disk to this box and see if it will work. For now, I'm hoping the problem is in the connections here and not in the disk itself. Now I'm going to open this box and remove the hard disk I had here, which is easy, I just pull it out. You see all these connections and then you have this here a connector where you plug the hard disk in. The next step is to unclick plastic clips here and here and it looks like it's coming off.
Now I need to remove the skim and the boring to here will be broken if I remove it. I've already considered this risk, I'm not going to return this disk and the recovery of the information is very expensive and as the information on the disk is not that important I try to do it myself but if you have very important information I would advise to take it to a professional to recover the data. So I disconnected this circuit with the connector and I'm going to check if I have the same type of the disk here and if I will be able to connect it to my other box. And I can see that they are almost the same and I can try to do that. The number of pins is the same. So now what I'm going to do is just insert this disk into this case. So it fits, I can feel that it plugged into the connector here and now what we're going to do is try to connect it to the computer and see if it works. You can see the LED is on. Let's wait a little bit and see if something happens. We heard the sound that something has been uh, detected and now I see there's a drive that has been detected actually. I don't hear any sounds of a working hard drive but let's try to access the drive so it cannot access the drive and even if we go to disk management you don't see it so you can see the main disk here and the removable disk has nothing here, it can't see anything. Let me check again if the box is working correctly, I just put another hard drive inside. And you can hear the sound, you can hear that the disk is rotating inside. And you can see now that the disk, external disk appears in the disk management program. Now I'll try to open the cap of the disk. It will require to use special screws which are T6 screws. Also under the stickers you may have extra screws, so we have to check if there are more screws inside. And by lifting the whole cap in the whole perimeter you can try to lift it separate it from the plastic casing And that's how it looks like and I see I was hoping that this arm would be on the disc that's one of the mechanical failures that happen to the discs and now I see that it's in its place another solution that you could try and uh, which you can find online as well is to remove this circuit board here and check the diodes 
that would be a more complicated step because you'll need to have a multimeter to check the continuity of the diets. So let's unscrew this circuit board now and see what we have. So I removed all the screws now and let's see how we take it out. Okay, that was easy. So what you can find in the internet is that people saying that there should be some diets that would burn in case something goes wrong. At this point I don't see elements that I'm looking for and it's much more smaller everything here. So at this point I won't be able to go further because I don't have special equipment. Even if I check all those components with a multimeter and find a uh, component that's malfunctioning, I won't be able to solder out those components and put the new ones in. Another solution would be to buy a similar circuit, replace it and see if the disk starts spinning. But even if you buy the same circuit board and make the hard disk spin, you won't be able to read data from the disk because there is a chip that needs to be replaced as well. You would need to take out an old chip from the old circuit board and put it on a new circuit board. And that is something a professional should do. Anyways, we will try to go further. I just got the same model of a hard drive and I will try to switch the circuit boards from this hard drive to the old one and then if it doesn't work which in theory should not work I'll try to switch the actually the disk I'll pick up the disk from this hard drive and put it in here and we'll see if it works just for curiosity we'll try this now we'll plug this hard drive into the computer and check if it works before we start to disassemble it now I plugged in the hard drive into the computer and uh, I can see that it's recognized and I can feel that the disk inside is rotating, so it's working. Let's check if the drives are identical. We see that the codes are the same. And the manufacturer date is 2013, December in one case and August in the other. Now I'm going to put the new circuit board on the old hard drive here so I just put the two screws here where the connections are as you can see here we have here a connector and here some connectors and after plugging the hard drive into the computer I can hear the sound the electrical motor has started rotating but as per theory the new circuit board won't work with the disk but I now can understand that my old circuit board was not working so in this case is what people would do they would ask the professionals to switch the chip from the old board to the new one and other people would try to switch the disk to a new hard drive at this point I will try to switch the disk just for curiosity purposes. Okay, now I open the cap of the new disk. I will try to remove the disk from here now. They say that's one of the most difficult parts. Let's try to do that. I have to fix the rotating part. And try to unscrew the screw here. I try to use this kind of an instrument. Now I don't have to be careful, I won't need this disc. Well, it worked. At this point I had to push a bit harder here so that the disc doesn't rotate while I was unscrewing with the screw the 
this part and for this part I need something sticky to remove that but let me do the same with the second disc pick up those parts with the tape I have to unscrew this part here which doesn't allow the disc to come out supposed to be here and it should go down and we are having difficulty with it now oh now it go in but I should say that I have some dirt in here left on the disc but that's good we'll be able to see what happens if we have some dirt here I don't know what it is but it looks like uh, the, the tape has touched it or not I don't know we'll see plugging into the hard drive and see if it moves if something happens inside you can hear the sound it is rotating but something is wrong inside now let's see what's happening really inside After turning it off I just checked and it's actually scratching the surface of the disc and if you look at this closer you can see the scratches on the disc. So doing this part is pretty risky if you have really important information let's just leave it to professionals. The arm here the reader is scratching the disc and after this the disc will be useless. That's what would happen if you follow the advice on internet and try to do it yourself that's what's gonna happen with you or may happen with you I tried several steps and none of them worked actually